Hi everybody, I hope everybody's doing okay. This is Miss Legg and I'm gonna to talk to you guys about modeling integers today. So first thing I want you to do is make sure you have a pencil paper near you, okay? And then I want you to copy down everything that I've written on this page onto your own page, okay? Once you guys have done that, or while you do that, pause the video, and then once you're done, play the video again, okay? That way you don't miss the instructions, okay? So first of all, talking about integers. They are negative and positive integers, okay? Everything on the left side of a number line, on the left side of the zero, is going to be negative, okay? Anything less than zero. And anything greater than zero or on the right side of a number line is going to be positive, okay? So zero on the left side is negative, and from zero on the right side is going to be positive. Now notice also on the side I've written infinity, okay? So zero to the negative is going to go all the way to negative infinity, which means there are infinitely many negative numbers, or that the negative numbers never stop, okay? And the same thing goes on the right side, okay? So from zero on and on and on forever and ever, it goes to positive infinity. And the infinity sign looks like a sideways H. That's what I have written there, okay? Now, let's talk about actually modeling with these numbers. So, for example, I have written a problem, negative 3 plus 4 equals blank. I've drawn a number line, and I've written down our four steps. So take a second, and again, you can pause the video if you need a second to copy down all these, all these steps. Okay, now that you have the steps copied, we're actually going to walk through each individual step. So for example, start at zero. So go ahead and put your pencil or pen on zero. Then we're going to draw an arrow to the first integer. So my first integer here is negative 3. So I'm going to draw an arrow from negative or from 0 to negative 3. Okay? So I put my pencil on 0 and I drew it from 0 to negative 3. Okay? Step number 3 says to draw an arrow towards the second integer. Okay? So for example, my second integer is positive 4. So I'm going to draw an arrow from where I was at at negative 3 in a positive direction, okay, because it is positive 4 or plus 4, okay. And my last step is I'm going to say draw the arches or the jumps for the second integer, okay. So if I was on negative 3, then I'm going to jump 1, 2, 3, 4 times. Okay, and whatever it lands on is going to be my final answer. So, for example, 1 or positive 1 is going to be my final answer. Okay, remember when you're watching the video, you guys can pause this at any time and go back and forth if you need to re-watch the instructions. Okay, now we're going to look at some more examples. Okay, number 2, negative 6 minus 2. First, I start by putting my pencil on zero, and I'm going to draw an arrow from zero towards my first integer, which is negative six. Okay? Next, I'm going to look at my second integer, which is negative two. Okay? And I'm going to put my pencil where I stopped and draw an arrow in that same direction. Okay, and then lastly, I'm going to jump. So I started on negative 6, and I'm going to jump to the left two more times. One, two, and wherever you land, that is going to be your final answer. Okay, so negative 6 minus two more is going to be negative 8. Okay, let's look at another example. So let's look at number three, seven plus three. Now, there are no negative signs, and logically you know seven plus three is 10, but if we're gonna model it, we have to follow our steps, okay? So I'm gonna put my pencil on zero, and then I'm gonna draw an arrow towards my first integer, which is seven. So draw an arrow 
towards my first integer, which is 7. Okay? Then, wherever I stopped, I'm going to draw an arrow towards my next integer, which in this case is positive 3. So I'm going to draw another arrow in a positive direction. Okay? And then I'm going to do my jump. So I was on 7, and I jumped forward 1, 2, 3 times, which means my answer is positive 10. Okay? Now, do I have to write that positive number? No, but because we're learning about and practicing negative and positive integers, I'm going to go ahead and write it just so we don't forget. Okay? Let's work one last example. 8 minus 5. Now, logically, we know the answer to this, okay? But we also want to practice modeling it, okay? So, I'm going to put my pencil or my pen on zero. I'm going to look at my first integer. And then I'm going to draw an arrow in the direction of that integer, which is positive 8 in this situation. Next, okay, I'm going to put my pencil where I stopped. And I'm going to draw an arrow in the direction of my second integer, which in this case is negative 5. So I'm going back the opposite direction. Okay. And lastly, I'm going to do my jump. So I was on 8, and I'm going backwards or to the left 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times, which lands us on positive 3. Okay, if you guys need any extra help with this, be sure to reach out to your teacher, okay? You can always watch the video or use some of those extra resources in your resources folder. Have a good day.